When it comes to creating content, sharing your message, your ideas with the world, I recommend that you consider two modes of creating content, drafting and repurposing. And I think these two modes are separate and I think both are important for you to put it into your, your schedule of content creation. So let me give you a quick example. When I make these videos, these are not, this is not the final product. This is essentially a draft because then I go from video, which then come from the video, I turn it into a blog post because I tend to think out loud. Now for, for you, you may think better when you're writing. And so you might be opposite. You might be drafting through writing and then repurposing by making a video later. But it's really different personalities will do different things for drafting and repurposing. So for my personality type, I do well drafting through video. I've already written some really quick notes, some really casual notes, right? And then I, I look at these notes as I'm making this video, but it's fairly casual, off the cuff. Um, I kind of know what I want to say, but I don't really know until I say it. So my draft is the video, and but from the video, I collect my videos, right? I collect the, the ones that are good, and then I put those videos into an online course. I put it on Udemy, I put it elsewhere. Um, there's another website called Konoz, K-O-N-O-Z dot I-O, I believe. Uh, but the, these collection of videos also go on to playlists. Facebook video playlist, YouTube video playlist. So see the draft has been repurposed into a course and into various video playlists. And also the draft video is then turned into a blog post because afterwards I will watch my video and then write down, take, turn my notes into something that's more publishable, right? Because as I say, drafting is when when I and when you and I are thinking about what we really want to say, some of us do it better through writing, some of us better do it better through speaking. And if even if you do it better through speaking, and you don't um, you don't like doing video yet, you can speak it into your voice recorder. Well, every phone now can do a voice memo, voice recorder. Okay. Now, so so then I take from video to playlists and online courses to blog posts, and then eventually I will curate my blog posts, my best blog posts. I will organize them and turn it into a book, right? Turn it into a book. And I, so also I will take my best blog post, I will look at what the ideas are and turn it into an infographic. I'm, I'm not a graphic designer, so I can hire out the task of creating an infographic. And then there, I'm sure there are other ways for me to repurpose my content as um, you know, maybe creating workbooks, creating downloadable PDFs. But the modes, again, are drafting and repurposing, okay? And um, the, uh, let me just tell you a bit about the drafting stage. Drafting, again, is where you think out loud, you try to organize your ideas, you figure them out. I recommend that if possible, consider sharing your drafts. There's a wonderful book that I read and was influenced by called Show Your Work. It's by uh, Austin Kleon, great book, K-E-L-E-O-N -E -E is his last name, Austin Kleon. The book is called Show Your Work. And in the book, he basically encourages us to, guess what, show our work. So even as we figure things out, we're sharing it with the world so that, here, here's what's interesting, even your drafts can help other people. Even your drafts are interesting to your ideal audience, okay? Why is that? The reason is because you have been thinking about your area of expertise. You've been working on your topic much more. You spend more time, more energy, more love, more, more thought and study on your topic than I do on yours. Similarly, I spend more time thinking about marketing, figuring out the best ways of doing it with authenticity, uh, than most people out there. So even when I'm just kind of talking out loud about my ideas of content creation or, or enrolling new clients or marketing or whatever, people say, wow, that was, that was helpful or interesting because you by, by default are further ahead, right? When I say by default, meaning because you spend your time on your topic, you're further ahead on your topic than, than, than just about everyone who consumes your content. So show your work. 
Even your drafts can be published, and chances are even your drafts will be helpful for others. So I encourage you, encourage you to just do it. Try sharing your drafts. I'll give you a quick example. I'm already giving you my example of my videos being drafts. You can see I'm not reading from a teleprompter because this is the way I draft. Others pe other people need to draft through writing and then make their videos much more perfect, but I'm the opposite, right? So um, that's my example is drafting through video, as you well know. But another example is a painter who, um, I'm not a painter, right? So, um, I, but I can admire beautiful paintings. But I would so love to see a painter share, post her initial sketches of what an idea of her painting is. And then maybe as she continues working on the painting, the next day or the following day, showing what the progress is on the painting. And maybe it's stage two when, when she has finally put, put the sketch on an actual canvas, the shapes, what the shapes are. And then the following day, she's put some colors to fill in the shapes. And as someone who is watching her work by just these photographs day by day, it gets so interesting to see this painting create, be created over the course of several weeks. Does that make sense? And so this is the painter showing her work. The painter herself, I'm sure, because she's so aware of how imperfect the drafts are, she's shy about sharing her original sketch because she knows it's nothing. To her, it's nothing. To somebody who isn't a great painter, it's something. It's like, wow, that's impressive. I couldn't do that. Or I didn't have that idea. That Even if I knew how to paint, I was like, oh, I didn't have that idea that you, you, you have, right? So as you can see, the painter, by sharing her drafts, is in entertaining and engaging her audience. And by the time that the painting is completed, her audience has is enjoying the process so much more than if, the, if she had just shown the final product. Why? Because the audience has become invested in the process of that, the, the creation of that painting. Does that make sense? And so um, this is why, as another example, some movies, they release tr uh, trailers that initially, some movies released kind of featurettes that are kind of behind the scenes. Uh, even before the movie comes out, they release some of the behind the scenes to show that, oh, we're filming this, we're filming in this way. Um, we are uh, interviewing some actors who are talking about how their process is and acting. Then when the movie comes out, we appreciate it so much more because we know all the work that's gone into it, right? So I encourage you to share your drafts at, at, if, if at all possible. Maybe in the beginning, you're so shy, you share your draft only with a few supportive friends that's the key supportive friends and colleagues and then if they're encouraging to you you keep going and you share your drafts with a larger circle maybe with your facebook friends and then maybe you go to the next step you share it on your linkedin um, with your linkedin status update and then maybe you put it on your website or as, as a blog and then maybe you put it on you know so share your drafts with bigger and bigger audiences as you feel more comfortable i'm now very comfortable sharing my drafts so this is going out on facebook and youtube etc right um, but but the I think there is a magic in thinking about publishing your draft because a um, couple things. One is that you 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 do the work with a bit more urgency, knowing that knowing that I'm going to be sharing this with you. Um, I'm going to do it a bit a bit better, I should say, not so it's necessarily urgency, but with a bit more quality than my original draft because I know that there's an odd. Also, when I publish my draft, when you publish your draft. Uh, you automatically have an audience in mind that well, I'm going to be publishing this. So who am I creating this even this draft for? Secondly, when you share your draft, you get feedback even in your draft so that the feedback can inform the continued creation of that work so that the final product is even better than if you had just been working on your own in, in isolation for, for days or weeks before you shared the final product. Does that make sense? So the continual engagement does make the final product better, more interesting for the audience. And thirdly, um, by sharing your draft, you get more and more comfortable just um, putting things out there, knowing that sometimes people will engage, sometimes there are crickets and it's okay. You kind of are building your muscles of sharing so that by the time the final product comes around, you're not so scared about sharing it, okay? Um, now, the second mode is repurposing. 
repurposing your draft into different things. I've already talked about how I, I, I will take my videos, I will, I will take, collect my videos and repurpose it into a course. Maybe I'll add additional middle videos in the course to make the, make the whole series make more sense. So I'm repurposing in that way. I also repurpose my videos into written blog posts and then eventually I'll turn my blog post into a book or several books, right? So think about how you could repurpose your draft. What other modes uh, of formats of content you could turn your drafts into. Now, I think it's important to schedule into your calendar these two modes so that you really are working both on drafting new stuff and on repurposing some of the better existing stuff, content you already have, right? And the last thing I'll say is that ultimately all content is drafting and all content is repurposing. What I mean by that is even when I finally publish my book, I'm not going to get freaked out because I've, I've already exercised this muscle of drafting and sharing my draft so much that even when my book comes out, I will see it also as a draft because the book can always have a second edition and a third edition and a fourth edition, etc., etc. So please keep in mind that all of your content is always just drafts and you can always keep repurposing again and again and again and again and making a better and better over time as you get more engagement from the audience and they will give you tell you what they really love about it and maybe when you don't hear anything that means they don't they don't love it and that's feedback as well so don't give yourself so much pressure just draft share your drafts as much as you can starting with a small group if you're more shy and then go from there and I look forward to hearing from you how this idea of drafting and repurposing will benefit you, make you more courageous and more consistent in sharing content.